Hello guys and welcome again to this edition of Learning with Rich. So in today's topic, so let's continue our discussion about Toposurface for our preparation on Revit Architecture Certified Professional Examination. Right, okay. On our last exercise, what we did is we created uh building pad and we also create lane here and the tool that we use is uh subregion right so for this exercise for this quick video i'm going to show you how to create a graded region okay by the way if you want to learn revit if you are just beginner you don't have any idea on how to use it you can just send me a message and I'm going to teach you 101. Of course, you need to pay the price. Okay. Anyway, going back to our topic. So I'm going to open my site plan here. So this is my site plan. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here the massing inside tab. And then there's this tool that is called graded region. It modifies the top surface to indicate changes during the construction process. Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, graded region. I'll just click this one. And then there is this edit, gra edit graded region dialog box that will come out. So the option that I'm going to use here is I'm going to create a new top surface exactly like the existing one. Okay, so I'm going to create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one. So I'm going to select this. Okay, then after that, I'm going to select this portion. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, there's a warning here. So it says the surface being graded was created in the current pace. Grading it will result it uh, will result in it being created and destroyed in the same place. So it's okay. Just close this warning. Okay. So this is now the new top of surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these points here of my new top of surface. And then I'm going to change the elevation to zero. Okay. So basically I now have two top of surface. So I'm going to change this new top of surface to zero. Okay. Then enter okay right then after that i'm going to change also the property so let's say the property of this top of surface that i will be creating is uh i think asphalt i'll just use asphalt since it's already selected okay then don't forget to select here modify edit surface okay so just select this one there you go. Okay, so if I'm going to select now the 3D icon here, default 3D view, this is now how it looks like. So as you can see, this is our old topo surface. And then this is the second topo surface. The elevation is zero. That's why it's flat. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, select the visibility graphic overrides i mean uh, i'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides uh, no need no need so i'll just select this one okay so i'm going to uh select the properties here so from the pacing it says pace existing show new so i'll just select here show new all right, so the old topo surface now disappear. It only shows as the new topo surface, okay? So the paste filter now show new. The old topo surface disappeared. It only shows here the new topo surface, right? So the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to grade these other surfaces, okay? This one. So I'm going to grade this one. So I'm going to select this. Okay, and then I'm going to select your edit surface. 
Alright, so as you can see, there's a lot of points here that comprises our uh, topo surface. So I'm going to select a uh, site plan. Okay, yeah, so it would be better to modify it here. Now, I only want to select here the exterior portion points here. So what I'm going to do is going to open the BV and then from the model categories, I look for site. Where's the site? There's the site. Okay, and then I'm going to, oh, and that's the, not the site, but it's the topography. So there's the topography. So I'm going to hide the interior point. So I uncheck the interior point, and then I select here. Okay, so as you can see, all the interior points has been hidden. So I can just easily select these points here. Then after that, I'll just change the elevation. So elevation, I'll just make it zero. There you go. And then I'll just click outside. So this is now how it looks like. So as you can see, there are now some grade on my surface there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to finish now. And let's take a look at the 3D view. This is how it looks like, okay? Of course, you can still modify this. If you want to modify your surface, you want to modify the the points, you can always select that because probably you are you are seeing that it's too steep. So you want to modify the points so you can select and then edit surface. Then you can select the points here if you want and then you can modify the elevation. So it's up to you. Okay. Anyway, I'm not, go I'm not going to modify that. So I'll just continue. So the next thing that I'm going to do, as you can see this portion here, I also want to add some graded part of this uh, surface. So same procedure. So I'm going to... Uh, select this. I think it would be better if I do it in the site plan. Okay. So I'll select this portion. And then after that, I'm going to select. Probably I'll just. Uh, I do not want to select. Okay, this one. Edit surface. Right. Just close this one. Okay, then same procedure. Our goal is to select this portion here. All of these points, all of these points here. You can hold the control to include all the unselected points. Just hold control, okay? Then after that, again, I'm going to change here the elevation to zero. And then I enter. There you go. Okay, see? And then I select here, finish. So let's take a look at the 3D view. So this is now how it looks like. See? Nice. Okay, so let's do it also to these two island here. This one and then this one. Same procedure. Let me just do it here in the 3D view. So I click this one. Edit surface. Uh, I think I just select the site plan. Would be better. So I select all the points. Change the elevation to zero. Enter. Okay, and then just check. Finish. So same with this guy here. So I select this, edit surface, select all the points. Elevation is zero. Okay, then don't forget to finish. Okay, so in 3D view, it looks like this. So there you go. So basically, that's how you create your graded region okay so it's a very short video but i hope you learned something from this video don't forget to like subscribe and share this to your friend and again if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial you just need to send a message to me and i'll do it but of course you need to pay okay it would be better if you don't have any idea on how to use revit you just want to learn or you want to add some some knowledge to your skills okay so don't hesitate to contact me okay thank you for watching guys and have a nice day